Hello, and welcome to a Charnel House unboxing, courtesy of Camelot Books and Gifts down in Land Lakes, Florida. So, this, my friends, is an epitaph, an epitaph, I can't speak English correctly, in Rust by Tim Powers, uh, his second ever published novel, back when he was a wee Timothy Powers. I actually have a paperback version signed by Timothy Powers, very fun. Uh, anyways, Charnel House has recently announced, recently being last year, announced that they are going to publish every single Tim Powers novel that they haven't already published. And, well, they published quite a few Tim Powers novels already, but there are a lot of older ones that never got the treatment. You don't need to see that receipt. Uh, so, I had purchased some previous titles, some Charnel House Tim Powers titles through Camelot Books. So they offered me a wonderful matching number when the first title came around, and I went ahead and took them up on the offer. So now I've been buying them all through uh, Camelot Books. I love the presentation. They always wrap up their books with nice wrapping paper. Makes it feel like it's your birthday or Christmas all over again. Uh, so my number is number 118. Uh, this being the second novel is now the second in their plans of publishing all his titles. Bound in beautiful Japanese silk. Let's pull it out of this. Wow. And silver foil stamped tragedy and comedy masks on the cover. Uh, it's kind of designed like a playbill. Because this deals with a play. Right there. The Bellamy Theater. Look at that. It is like a playbill. Bellamy Theater, associated with the Charnel House Players, presents an epitaph. Epitaph? In Rust, I, I just, I, I'm recovering from Bell's palsy, so English is difficult right now. A novel in two acts by Tim Powers. Taking photographs is strictly prohibited. Turn cell phones off during performance. Uh, that's awesome. So originally published in 1976 by Timothy Powers. Uh, this deals with a monk on the run. Runaway monk. This monk runs away to join the circus. Well, technically he runs away to join the uh, theater. So he does. He joins He joins the theater. This is a future in which the cops are androids. and uh, He joins the theater, which is putting on a production of As You Like It, the Shakespearean play, only to discover that they're not actually a theater troupe. They are, in fact, a bunch of revolutionaries uh, using the theater as a front to stage their revolution. And I've not, I've not read this novel. Big surprise there. Uh, but like all of the titles from Charnel House, you have your signature in the back. Tim Powers, number 118 of 200 number copies. That is so cool. The who's who in the cast. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, so anyways. <laughs> Box office and merchandise, Serena Powers. Joe Stefko, directed the stage. He's the man behind, uh, behind the press. So anyways. I've not read this novel. Uh, I've heard very mixed to kind of negative things about it. It that it reads apparently like it's definitely an author's early work, which is a shame. But I mean, it is a second novel, so you know you got to start somewhere. Still a better job than I would ever do. Uh, but very excited to add it to the shelf. Uh, this is not the first limited edition version of the novel. It got a numbered edition back in I want to say in the eighties. I want to say it was the uh, Nefspa. The, uh, the science fiction folks that did it. But uh, I could be wrong on that. Could be wrong on many things. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, check out Charnel House. They do very creative things with the publications. I've done several Charnel House unboxings on this channel. Several Tim Powers boxings, uh, both related to Charnel House and otherwise. Uh, love, love me some Tim Powers. His uh, secret history style is fantastic. Although this isn't as secret history. But we are rapidly approaching his secret histories, and they should be getting the Charnel House press, uh, treatment very soon. If they are going to continue to follow uh, his bibliography, next up is going to be The Drawing of the Dark, uh, which did get a subterranean press limited edition, but not a Charnel House. Following that up with Anubis Gates, which is one of my favorite novels ever, which got, the, which got several uh, special edition treatments over the years, uh, the biggest of which being... A centipede Press. I have an unsigned copy of that, but I cannot wait to see what Charnel House does with that. Um, Charnel House does numbered and lettered editions. The lettered editions 
are always very creative in what's usually embedded into the cover. Uh, one used uncirculated dollar bills for the end sheets. Uh, one had a fit, one which was actually Tim Powers. One had an etch a sketch, a working etch a sketch, uh, set into the cover. Uh, Regulators by Richard Bachman, aka Stephen King, had friggin' bullets jutting out of the cover for that letter edition. Uh, for those reasons, I'm personally uh, more of a fan of the numbered editions that Charnel House puts out, uh, just because they're very nice, fancy, fine press books. Uh, the letter editions are even fancier, but uh, with that much stuff jutting in and out of the covers, I personally, I mean, I, I haven't seen in, I haven't seen any of them in person. It could be a very different story once you get it in person. But from what I've seen from the images, uh, all the stuff in the covers detracts from it actually being a book first and foremost. Like the regulators, cool, you got bullets coming out of it, but I couldn't physically hold that to read it. Um, but like I said, I've heard from people that it it's even nicer in person. So maybe you can absolutely read it. Uh, not that I, I don't think people want to read their letter editions anyways. It's just the principle of it to me. I like the nice, simpler nature of the numbered editions. I could pull this from the shelf and read it if I wanted to. Uh, whereas the letter edition, I don't know what the letter edition has. This one I think is just bound in like Moroccan leather. I think it does actually mention it in the back here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just uh, red Morocco leather. So I don't think anything too fancy is going on with the letter edition for this one, but you never know. Uh, anyways, check out Charnel House. Uh, they have been in the business for quite some time. I think it was, what, 92 or 89 uh, that they f did the first publication. The first publication was Tim Powers. Uh, it was The Stress of Her Regard, which is why I want to say 92. Um, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, but anyways, they're still going strong. Joe Stefko is doing a marvelous things with the books that he is producing. And if you're a Tim Powers fan like me, then you are going to get a huge slew of Tim Powers limited editions through Charnel House. It is they, you know, they have an agreement, and I'm all for it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will continue to do these unboxings as they arrive. Uh, so please consider liking and subscribing. Check out Camelot Books as well. They uh, Kim and Tony do a phenomenal job down there. Uh, and like I said, they wrap your books up nice and pretty for you. So it's like Christmas or your birthday. Uh, when you get to the holidays, they actually use holiday wrapping papers. That's fun. Uh, so check them out as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.